Hi right, guys, uh, it's a little late, it's like 10 o'clock at night, uh, but I'm gonna get this done and have it ready for you by tomorrow. So we are doing guided practice and independent practice for, uh, and it starts on page 232. Uh, you will not have homework tonight, you just have to study for your quiz, which is gonna happen on Wednesday. All right, so let's take a look at the example and in this case, you have a gas can, and they want to know how much gas in cubic inches can fill this gas can. So what we got to do is figure out a side view, because the base is going to be this side over here, because it gives it this distinct shape, right? And from before, when we did composed figures, we can see that we need to break this gas can into three parts. We have a big rectangle here. We have a small rectangle here, and then we have this triangular section right there. And we're going to figure out the area of all those, add them together, and then multiply them by the width of this can, which would be the height of this prism, right, of 8 inches. So if you find the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle is 1 half of 3 times 3, which is 4 and a half square inches. The area of the rectangle B is 12 inches by 3 inches, so that'd be 36 square inches. And then the area of rectangle C, which is the big one, is 14 inches by 15 inches, and that's 210 square inches. So if you add all that together, you get 250 and a half square inches, and then multiply it by the height of the uh, gas can of the prism, that's 8. So 250.5 times 8 is 2004. So the, the, you will have 2004 square uh, cubic inches. Remember volume is always in cubes. All right, so from there, we're gonna move to guided practice itself, All right? Uh, you can look in your book, and follow along on page 232, but all the problems are already up on the board. All the illustrations are up, so you can just follow along on the board if you want to but make sure you write these notes in your book, right? So the first problem is problem number 16. And this is problem number 16 says a bicycle ramp used for competitions is a triangular prism. The volume of the ramp is 313.2 feet cubed. And we wanna write and solve an equation to find the width of the ramp, right? So the width of the ramp is right here is X. They gave us the base of the triangle at 13.4 feet. They give us the height at six feet. So uh, actually this base of 13.4 does not matter because that's the hypotenuse. The actual leg we're looking at is over here, the 12 feet, that's the height. So uh, the 13.4 just kind of throws us off a little bit, but we don't need that. We need the six feet, we need the 12 feet because that's the length of this leg that forms a right angle. And then the depth of the prism will be X. So this is another one of those working backwards problems where they give us the answer and we have to find the missing piece. Well, in this case, the missing piece is the height of the prism. So we have, we have to find the volume of the triangle. So the volume of the triangle is 1 half times 6 times 12. And half of 12 is 6. So 6 times 6 is 36 feet squared times x gives us 313.12 feet cubed. So we divide both sides by 36 feet squared, and we end up with 8.7 feet is the length of x. And that's really not a real difficult problem. Just remember, write out the formula, write out the equation, and then fill in what you know. What we were given was 312, 313.2, for the volume, we were given the base, and we were given the, the height uh, of the triangle, and that's all we really needed to find the answer, all right? The second one is a mailbox, and even though it's written kind of small, it's gonna be a big number, right? So this mailbox has dimensions across the bottom is 70 centimeters, and across the front, it's 85 and a half centimeters, from this point to this point is 180 centimeters, and then from this point to the top is 25 centimeters. 
So what we have to do is look at finding the total volume. The volume is going to be the volume of the triangle plus the volume of the rectangle. So that's what we're looking at now. We have to figure out the volume of the triangle. Well, we know that it's 25 meters, right? And we also know that it is 70 meters long here and 85 meters wide, right? So if we actually drew that in, let me grab a marker. If we drew that triangle in, it would look like this. It would come across here like this and then go up here like that. And this is our triangle that we're looking at right there, right? We're looking at that triangle. And it is uh, 25 centimeters tall, 70 centimeters from across here, and then 85 and a half centimeters in this direction. All right, so the prism itself that we're looking at is right here. And it's 85 and a half. All right, so, so the triangle itself is one half of 25 times 70 times 85.5. Then we have to add the rectangular portion in also. That's 85.5 times 70 times 180, which is the height. So all those numbers add up to some really big numbers. We get one half of 149,625 plus 1,077,300. Take half of that, you get 74,812.5. Added to that 1,077,300. You get 1,152,112.5 centimeters cubed. Now, those are some big numbers, and I would expect you would probably use a calculator to do that. All right. Number 18 is kind of one of those questions where you have to look at what are they really asking me? So, they're giving you a, a, tri, a rectangular prism, and you're supposed to find the volume. But what they've done is cut the middle of that rectangular prism out, right? So we find the volume of the regular, the black prism that I have, right? And the volume of that is eight centimeters times four centimeters times five centimeters, which is kind of easy, right? Length times width times height. And that adds up to 160 centimeters cubed, right? But then we cut this middle out, so we have to subtract that volume that would be there. So they give us one centimeter times four centimeters up here, but they don't give us the height. But remember they cut it all the way through, so it's gonna have the same height as this side over here. So we have one centimeter times four centimeters times five centimeters, which gives us 20 centimeters cubed. And we subtract that 20 centimeters cubed from 160 centimeters cubed for a total of 140 centimeters cubed. Now, Leo chose D as a correct answer. How did he get that answer? Well, Leo chose D, which is 180. And if you look, he added these two together. Right? So instead of subtracting, Leo added. All right. The next part is actually just doing the independent practice. So the first question of independent practice, I think, might be the hardest one because it's a birdhouse that's in the shape of a pyramid, right? But it is, uh, it's, it's a, a pentagonal pyramid, right? So we have to find, and the bottom of the pentagon is a trapezoid, right? So we have to find the area of the, of the triangular prism and the area of the trapezoidal prism. Well, I showed you the formula today, uh, for trapezoids, so uh, we will be able to do that. But here we have the, the triangular prism is one half of the base, which is 12. And then we had to come up with the height. Well, the height is, there's 14 inches here and it's eight inches to here. So the height of the triangle is 14 minus eight, which is six inches. And then the height of the prism itself is seven inches. So we get one half of 12 times six times seven, that gives us 36 times seven, which is 252 inches cubed for this portion right here, the, the triangular prism. But we have to add that to the trapezoidal prism, which remember I told you the area for a trapezoid, one of the easiest ways to do it is to do base one plus base two in either order that you want. 
divide that by two and multiply it by the height of the trapezoid. And that'll give you 10 plus 12 divided by two is 11 times eight, which is the height. That'll give us 88. And then the height of the prism is still seven. So 88 times seven is 616 inches cubed. But now we have to add that 252 to the 616 and we end up with 868 inches cubed. Uh, again, uh, you might wanna run this through once or twice just to make sure you can follow that, right? And then that's number one all the way down to here. I actually I needed room on the board. So this part right here, that's number one. Number two is over here. Number two, they give us three different shapes. And we're supposed to pick out which one's the biggest one, the middle size one, and the smallest one. So the first thing is we have a, rec a rectangular prism that's 11.25 inches by 12 inches by six inches. And we know that the, the uh, formula for that is just length times width times height. So if we do that, we end up with 810 inches cubed. This middle one, which is three and a half inches by nine inches by 16 and a half inches, if we do that, length times width times height, we end up with 519.75 centimeters, uh, that's supposed to be inches, not centimeters, inches cubed. And then the trapezoid, we do the same way we did that one. We got a six inch line here, six inch base, a nine inch base, we have an 8.75 height. So that's six, times, six plus nine is 15. Divide that by two is seven and a half. Multiply that by 8.75. And then multiply that by 12. And you end up with 787.5 inches cubed. All right. Number three. Number three, they give you two tanks. One of them is rectangular and the other is triangular. Now, you can see I've already filled the water in on this one, but in reality, that was empty. This one was filled, it's 10 centimeters tall, it's six centimeters by six centimeters, and 10 centimeters tall, but it was only filled to six centimeters. So really, it's six by six by six, all right? Which makes it 36 times six, which, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 36 times six. But what they said was they were gonna pull this, pour this water out to where there was two centimeters left, right? Well, two. And if you do that, if you pour it out to where there's two centimeters left, what you have is this rectangular prism, right? And this is what we're talking about, this area here that volume. We're still gonna have that, that two in there. So we go end up with six times six for the base, area of the base, but the height is only what we're pouring out. We're going from six down to two, so that means the height is four, right? So we get six times six times four, which gives us 144 centimeters cubed. Now we have to pour that water into this triangular prism, right, that 144 centimeters, is now the volume that we that we have. So that will be, go here under V, and then we have one half the base times the height times the height of the prism. And what we're trying to find out is how high is that amount of water going to rise up in that triangular prism? Well, when we do that, we get one half of the base times the height. This is one half of four times nine. Half of thirty six is. 18 times the height of the prism, of the water that we're gonna need and that we're looking for. So we don't know that, but we do know that we have 144 centimeters cubed of water. So we're gonna divide both sides by 18, 144 divided, centimeters cubed divided by 18 centimeters squared gives us eight centimeters for the height. So that water is now going to take up this area that's eight centimeters tall. So you got an eight right there, right? So it doesn't fill it all the way up. It fills only up to eight centimeters. 
Number four is they give us a problem that says uh, that the base of a right triangular prism is a right isosceles triangle. That means both sides are the same, all right? Whose side measures are 25 centimeters each. So we got 25 and 25, all right? And then they give us a volume of this prism is 0 0.75 meters cubed, and we're trying to find the height. We're looking for the height. Well, first off, these are in centimeters, and this is in meters. Can't do that. We have to operate with the same measurement. So what we're going to do is change that meters to uh, centimeters, right? Now, they're in, in these meters cubed, right? There's one million cubic centimeters, right? There's one million uh, cubic centimeters in a cubic meter, all right? So what we have to do is take that one million and multiply it by 0 0.075, right? So 0 0.075 times one million And that's going to get us 75,000. All right? So our new volume, instead of being 0 0.075 meters cubed, is 75,000 centimeters cubed. All right? And when we do that, when we, when we do that, when we, now we have to set that equal to our volume, which is one half of 25 times 25, and that's 300. The area of our triangle is one half of 25 times 25, which is 312.5. So that's the area of our base, 312.5. We know the height. We do, we're looking for the height. We know the volume is 7, 75,000 cubic centimeters we know the height is we know the height is uh, h what we're looking for and we know the area of the base is 312.5 so we divide both sides by 312.5 and that will give us 240 centimeters for the height of this this would be 240 centimeters in that direction all right so that is Pretty much everything we got to know for the quiz. Uh, I appreciate your attention. Uh, go ahead and work this out. Take your time. I hope that you've stopped and started the video uh, for independent practice, that you worked on a little bit and then watched the video. Uh, I'll put that in a note for the sub. But uh, study. You have a quiz tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for being on your best behavior. All right, you guys have a good night.